Okay, hi, this is uh, a video on how to set up uh, and prep an alpha key on the Panasonic 410 switcher. And the instructions are real clear of how to do this. Actually, they don't even call it an alpha key within the instruction manual. However, this is how um, I set it up. So within the menu structure here, if you hit uh, configuration uh, sys button and you go into configuration page, first things first, you scroll all the way down to the bottom here and see where it says key signal coupling. You set that key fill source to fill to source. Now we go to our key menu. There it is. When I get to the key menu, make sure you're on linear. That's important as well. I'm just gonna get out of that menu for a moment. Now down here, um, actually one thing I didn't tell you was that what I normally do on uh, my key menu is I have on my preview monitor, I want it on so I can preview my uh, lower third before it goes on to my program screen. So down here now in selecting this, if you go to the key button and light it orange, that will tell you what fill you've selected. And I've selected my uh, lower third A as my fill. Hit it again, the green is your layer that you're using as the alpha, which is my lower third A alpha. That's very easy and, and that's why this works. Uh, and the uh, fill lays right over the alpha. Just to give you an example, I will take and punch something else on the alpha and you can see we've lost you know, anything we cut except for that alpha, we lose it. I will come down here and I will hit alpha. And you can see it change and alpha fills it perfectly. So that's hopefully helpful to you uh, in setting up an alpha key on a Panasonic 410. The only thing left to do is to hit key on or hit it on the key button over here key on and our alpha goes to show. Hope that helps.